you know, I can't even tell you. Um, right, so I'm gonna do my makeup and I thought we'd do a little live. I was gonna film something and then my battery was dead. So I'm charging it up and I have a couple more videos that I wanna film after this. Um, I thought I would show you some of the things that I've been using as and when I have been doing my makeup recently, which has not been tons. And um, I picked out a couple of things that I don't think I've used before, or at least one thing. I don't know, went into my makeup. Um, it's gonna be really cool because I'm gonna have all of my makeup here next to me while I'm filming. Not right now, because I'm using that unit that stores my makeup right now to um, sit our TV on in the bedroom while we wait for a unit. We ordered some stuff from Maison, Maison La Mode. Hi, Nikki. I can't remember, is it called that? It's a French website and um, apparently we're having problems because of Brexit. I don't know if I believe them, to be honest, but apparently we are. Right, so I've been using this. Pixie Brightening Vitamin C Priming Oil. You know I really, really like the vitamin C stuff from Pixie. This was sent to me. Um, priming oil is not usually my jam, but amazing. School's closed for snow, so I can actually watch in between teaching my online classes. Yay! Uh, Milo is um, on his lunch break right now, which is why we're doing the live now. I thought I would take this opportunity to film some stuff. And um, really my skin is having a moment. Got so many breakouts, even like up here, like around here. This is amazing stuff. So although it's a primer oil, it's like one of those phase things where you shake it up and then it's not um, completely oily. And although I have got oily skin, um, it absorbs really quickly and my makeup looks so much nicer on top. I will say it does nothing for oil control, but would you expect it to? I don't know. My, my lips are really dry as well at the moment. Um, but it, it is pretty amazing if you've got kind of like lines and some dehydration situations going on that you wanna hide. Um, I'm gonna just leave that for a second. Live from the new room, yes! I did do a live yesterday, um, kind of chatting about the house stuff and I just posted a new vlog. I'm back into the swing of vlogging every day after like a bit of sporadic uploads last week during the move. Um, but we're uploading every day again now. I'm enjoying it even more so. Um, and you just dropped another video. 35 nearly is your year. Yes, Nikki. I've not had the, what's the word I'm looking for? I suppose motivation to, I'm gonna shake this up because it's been just sitting for so long. This is the L'Oreal Skin Paradise, which again was sent to me, but I also bought another one. Afternoon, Tracy. I wanna say morning, but afternoon. Um, I haven't had the motivation because I've just, everything's been everywhere. Obviously the light in winter is not fantastic. Um, and in the back of my mind, I was just thinking, soon I will have a room to film in. And because of that, that kind of just made me think, well, I'll just wait, I'll just wait. But I was going through my makeup um, just to see if I could get rid of anything. And I just thought, oh man, it's being reignited. I can feel it. I also was on the Boots website this morning um, just to kind of get some essentials. I've run out of dry shampoo. I don't know if you can tell. Um, and like spot cream, that kind of thing. And I was looking at some of the new stuff. I'm so excited that finally we've got that Revlon glass lip thing. A video will be coming on that. I actually have one of the Revlon lip butters still, and I've kept it. I know obviously it's gonna be old and whatever, but I've kept it to compare. Cause I just thought as and when they bring something back that compares to it, I want the original. So we're gonna have a video. Um, I'm also, Got in my basket the new, this is, I feel like in the mirror this looks fine and then in the viewfinder it doesn't. The problem I discovered, I've had months and months of doing my makeup basically in the dark and artificial light. Yesterday I did my makeup with all the same stuff that I would have been using and all of a sudden everything didn't match. So I'm like, great, I've just been walking around the world with like orange face this whole time. Woo! Okay, I squeezed out a little bit too much there. I'm also not used to having quite so many breakouts to cover up. That's insane, okay. Went a little bit overboard. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited about, I, I bought some new makeup before Christmas, maybe like November time. Um, and I haven't really had time to play with it. But also, there are some new things that I've been waiting for way too heavy with that um, and the Revlon shine 
lipstick is one of the things. And the, um, I think it's called Lip Lift from Maybelline is their answer to, I'm hoping, the Dior Lip Maximizer. Now I was looking online because they had like two for 12 pounds. Super annoying because it says that the Lip Lift is included in the two for 12 pounds. And so is the new Maybelline Lash Sensational. I think it's called like Skyscraper or something. Um, but the one shade they've got in stock, and it is actually the one shade that I would want because it's the most similar to my Dior Lip Maximizer, is not included in the deal. How annoying. So I'm gonna buy something else just out of spite. At a protest, I shan't buy that. Um, but I do kind of also wanna buy it because I wanna compare it with the Dior. Would you really wanna see that? Let me know. Um, right, so I've got the e.l.f. I've never used this. The e.l.f., what is this called? I don't know. I don't know, it was like a little quad. You know these little mini eye things? Um, I bought two of these and I don't think I've used either of them yet. This looks untouched. So I'm hoping this is gonna work for the kind of eye thing that I do, which is just like a little smudge of something. This is truffle, yes, Tracy. A little smudge of something on the lids. And then most importantly, I do my like powder liner. Um, so I'm gonna do that now. Let me just see what I've missed comments wise. Um, mostly is money, <laughs> is money, uh, okay with the changes. Manny is kind of just about settling into the fact that he can go into both rooms um, because although I think it, it confuses people because we lived with my mum and dad but we lived separately together so we, not to make this another video about the house but just to answer the question, um, we had our own spaces so he didn't spend a lot of time in their room and Buddy didn't spend a lot of time in our room. So although I'm sure they're wondering where each other is, I, they didn't spend a lot of time together. When we first moved in, every time we left, we would leave them together. And then eventually we just realized they kind of, like they lived apart and they liked their own space. So at night time, Buddy slept in the kitchen and Manny slept in the living room and it was fine. It wasn't an issue. So although they maybe miss each other, it's not like, regularly, you know, two dogs living together kind of situation. And the biggest thing is Manny is not understanding about going in the other room. He's constantly trying to escape to the living room, which is quite funny. Oh my God, I haven't done actual eyeshadow in the longest time, which will probably be apparent to you all. I'm now wondering, oh yeah, I did use this for concealer. Wow, that was a lot of concealer that I put on there. I was now wondering, like, I feel like this brush originally, I didn't buy for concealer, I bought it for like a smudge. Yes, Sky High, that's what it's called. Not Skyscraper. Um, I'm definitely going to buy the uh, Sky High mascara. Um, and I may have to compare it to the original because it's just my favorite favorite. I even now am converted to the, um, Lash primer. Every single look, it's, it's here already. Every single time I do my mascara, I use that lash primer. And I was never a lash primer kind of person, but I can't be without it now. I also can't imagine doing my eyeliner anyway but this, which we'll see how well it works in the real world because. Although this is fine for, you know, day to day around the house filming and stuff, I'm not sure how well this would hold up. I think I'm going to have to maybe invest some time in learning gel because I think that's probably the closest thing. I can probably get a base with gel and like smudge it out and soften it a little bit with powder. Um, but this is like my go-to now. Just a little bit of definition and wing-ish. Easy, easy, easy. Even if I don't use eyeshadow, I will still do that because it makes a massive difference to my eyes. And then the lash primer because amaze, amaze, amaze. This is the most makeup I've worn in months and months. Put on a base and concealer, I mean. Really, although looking at it, that does not look well blended. Just not in practice at all. I feel like I've just like missed this whole side of my face. 
is a strange thing now, makeup. It used to be something that I would put on almost every single day, and now I go so long without it. But I so enjoy it. I think now I've got like a space that I can come and like I straightened my hair yesterday, which was very strange. I'm just gonna kind of go a little bit because I don't think I got everywhere. Um yeah, being able to sit down and actually do my makeup at a desk. Amazing, amazing, amazing. And then I have a little mirror over here, if you haven't seen the vlog, where I can do my hair. It's great because now it means that all of those things that kind of clutter up the bedrooms are out of both my bedroom and Ella's bedroom. So you've just got like a total chill space in your bedroom. You don't have like all the bits and it means that if I want to leave my makeup out in this basket, I can't. I don't have to worry about like things being away. Um, it's just totally into the kind of sanctuary bedroom vibe. Um, let me just catch up on the comments. <laughs> Might put some slap on for my Morrison's delivery, lucky fellow. <laughs> this, I, I always think this because obviously, I mean, I always used to say this about the school run, that I would go to school looking absolutely the worst and then I would turn up later on in the day like with bright red lipstick, full face of makeup and I used to say that um, they must think I was having like an affair in the afternoon. But especially for the postman, he never knows what I'm gonna look like when I open the door. It could be a face mask, it could be like death warmed up, it could be fully made up, it's so weird. He must think there's multiple people living here. Uh, with the e.l.f. minis, I tend to use an eye primer they are lush, but I tend to get a bit of fallout, probably used to error. I have never found a primer that has um, really helped with fallout. The problem I have with eye primer, I had one that I really liked and it was um, Laura, I want to say Laura Geller, but that's not right, I don't think. It was a stage, stage primer or stage show primer, something like that. I forget what the brand was. Um, and that was really, really good. But most primers I find either crease and don't do anything amazing for me or they're too adhesive. And as I put things on, I can't blend over the top. I'm just, I need something in between. Um, I really only ever use primer if I'm actually concerned about the longevity of my makeup, which I'm not right now because I'm just filming. Um, if I was like going out for the day or the evening, which who does that anymore? Uh, use a cold pencil and seal it with a darker eyeshadow that held, holds up really well. That's a great idea because I could still use a coal and smudge it out a little bit. Um, the other day I tried to spray by blush. Oh, spray? Oh, spray my brush before I'd done my eyeliner with my eyeshadow. Yes, I've also, yes, I've done that too. Helen E, that was it. What did I say? I didn't say Helen, did I? Well, Helen E primer, that was exactly it. It was great. Beauty Bay's eye primer. I've never tried anything from Beauty Bay, I don't think. Um, and a MAC Paint Pot as eyeliner is a great idea. Just something that's a little bit more long wearing, but that you can still do that kind of smudgy shadow look. I'm all about it. What else have I got here? I didn't even bring myself a blush. But I do have a basket of things that I've been using. So these makeup, these make makeup, these closet things behind me, most of all hold clothes, obviously, but I've also got some drawers in there. If you saw my skincare video that I posted, I think uh, after Christmas, it was December time. Um, I rearranged all of this. I've changed it slightly since then. And I've got my uh, skincare still in the same configuration, but in a drawer instead of that pull out trace, it's a little bit neater because I've got a bit more space now. Um, but I've had in there one basket that was kind of my go-to makeup, which is this, this basket right here. And it's just kind of grown and grown and grown. But I really have been using pretty much the same stuff because I haven't had uh, quick access to my whole makeup drawers. I'm really excited to just be able to, for them to be next to me while I'm doing something like this. So if I'm like, oh, do you know what? I'm gonna use that thing I haven't used in six months. Maybe I actually use some stuff up. Right, what have I got in terms of blushes? So I put all of my mini Benefit ones in here and a couple of people when I bought them did say to me, they're not as good and they're a little bit patchy and I would agree. The one I'm really enjoying that I think I'll buy a big one of 
is Dandelion. I really like the colour of this. It's got that same vibe as Sex Appeal from NARS, but I think you're going to get more for your money. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that you are. Um, I like this, but I am finding that when I put it on, I like to put all of my makeup on and then do setting powder. Um, but if I do that, then it doesn't, it kind of grabs in, in the wrong ways. So I am going to do setting powder first. Georgia, when I used it, I had high hopes for, but it was very golden and sheeny. I don't know. Um, this one, the Hoola I basically used mostly as an eyeshadow. Dallas, I don't think I've used yet. I remember this being sheeny too. Am I wrong? I don't know. And then also in there was California, which I think also had a golden sheen on the top. I'm just very mindful of sheeny kind of products because where I like to put my blush, it's also where my pores are the most obvious. And so I like this area to be a bit more matte and I like my sheen to be kind of here. I may start going back to the 80s blush that I was quite into because that avoids that. I just like to avoid anything shiny here. It really does accentuate the texture of my skin that I'm not into. I also need to revisit, this is by the way, the Innisfree No Sebum Mineral Pact. This is great. I can't even remember where I bought this, um, but I've had it for ages and then I just pulled it out um, the end of last year, I think. And it is awesome for oily skin. It just kind of knocks out all of the shine and I find that it does help to keep me relatively oil free, but also because it's so fine, it's nice for kind of touching up. Again, not that I've had to do that in a while because where are we going? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. Okay. So I tend usually to do T-zone blush. Uh, T-zone uh, powder, that's it. But because I'm going to do this blush, I'm going to just do a little bit there as well. And I'm going to use my um, Charlotte Tilbury lip pencil because I just found it the other day and was so excited. Oh, it just... I think this colour is really nice. It's a very subtle. I don't even know if you can see it. Oh, you can a little bit. It's more obvious in the mirror. It's very subtle, kind of soft pink, really pretty. Um, I think it's so nice, but you do have to wear it over the top of a powder, otherwise it will cling. I know that sounds obvious, but some setting powders, it's, it's a setting powder, it's the last thing. Have you ever seen those? Um, I saw something on, I think it was a reel or an Instagram video or something at some point, and someone showed these HD powders and they put them like on their wrist. Um, and then they swatched things over the top and it was practically waterproof. Like it was not waterproof, but it, it made it so that like nothing would adhere to it. So you could swipe something really vibrant over the top of it and it just was if it didn't exist. It was incredible. It really stuck with me as powders are setting powders they're not something for between foundation and blush as I always used them before some are but it kind of stuck with me as I'm never sure which powders are going to do that and so I try to do things first but that blush for sure works better when you build it on top of another powder oh, just went a little bit too close to that this is the Milani baked highlighter in Dolce Perla um which is so pretty so, 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 my friend just messaged me and excuse me, just to distract me. <laughs> she said, um, next time she comes to my house, we're making porn star martinis. Did I put concealer under my eyes? Did anyone notice me not put concealer under my eyes and not say anything? Or are my eyes just that dark? Seriously. I don't think I actually put any, con this is not an ideal time to put on concealer, but I truly don't think I put any concealer under my eyes. Thankfully there was tons left over just in the well of, in the neck of the concealer thing. But I, after I was done, I was like, that is dark. And I don't tend to have a lot of darkness under my eyes, but you're gonna see it if that's the only place you haven't done. I think you all just allowed me to miss under my eyes. And that is what I think happened. 
Can you hear my love? He's playing Fortnite with his friend and he's like... It's a very loud game. It's a very shouty game, Fortnite. Okay, I think we're done. It's probably going to crease very nicely. Mm -mm. I also pulled out all of my jumpers. All of my giant jumpers! Um, although not all, because some of them are on top of my wardrobe. I was putting things away and I thought, you know, I know I'm missing some things. And then I remembered. I separate my um, summer stuff from my winter stuff. And so there is actually a lot of winter stuff up there. There you go. Okay, I'm going to hot on the lip liner. I can't talk to you while I'm doing this. I put on lip liner yesterday for the first time in, I don't know how long. And I was like, oh, I can't, uh, I don't know if I can remember how to do this. Can you hear him? They just scream at each other all day. At the weekend, we've had to like put. A, you can't hear Milo, yeah. Um, and he's downstairs. Um, we had to put like a timer on it because otherwise he'd play it all day, and he just gets like. They get really pent up. Is that what I mean? No, they get like, they wind themselves up. There's a little spider on my desk. I'm actually using um, something to prop you up that Emma bought me in one of our swaps. And I haven't used it until now. Very handy. But I believe a spider has been living on it. Because it's been under a, um, a sofa for months. Oh, I just love that. Is there anything else? I don't think there is anything else. Sure, I'm going to do lipstick. I'm going to do lipstick. I've got this MAC High Tea one that I bought last year. I was really excited about it. Then I've hardly used it. Because who's wearing anything, really? This is a lustre, which is not usually my vibe. But I think maybe over the top of lip liner less so than on um, bare lips. But I remember Nicola Chapman, I was going to say Nikki Chapman, but that's not right because Nikki Chapman was from Pop Idol. Nicola Chapman um, posted something about it last year and I was like, ooh, that is totally my vibe. Love. It looked so nice on her. So I ran out of dry shampoo. And so what I did was I just used some loose powder instead. Am I getting away with it? Probably not. I'm placing my boots order today. Really enjoying the length of my hair also. I did have like a moment of, before I did it, thinking, am I gonna regret cutting my hair? At no point. At no point, right. Let me look at what I've missed. Um... Oh, who do I like to watch for beauty videos? I watch very few YouTubers these days. I really enjoy Jessica Braun, but she's an American YouTuber. So a lot of the stuff that she talks about, we can't get her, it's not as easy or it's not as affordable, but she is what I like to consider my American counterpart um, when I was on form. Not so much right now, but she's very budget beauty conscious with a little bit of looks thrown in, some home content. Um, I just love her. I really, really enjoy her. I found her through her husband's travel videos because they were going to Disney. And when we were going to Disney, I found his uh, channel, which is Tyler Travels TV, I think. Um, and he was saying, because she was obviously with him, oh, Jessica's channel, Jessica's channel. And I looked and thought, oh, a budget beauty YouTuber from America right up my street. Um, when you're happy with it, you'll have to show us a storage tour of how you're using it now. 100% will. Cream blush is the way to go for me. Be from Superdrug, have some nice ones. So I was looking today because I really want to try one of the Fenty ones. It's kind of like mid-range, um, but I'm super tempted to pick up a Fenty one with my boots order because I've heard such good things, partly from Jessica Braun. Uh, but I am into cream brush, uh, cream, cream brushes, cream blushes. I really enjoy a cream blush, but I also am always looking for like easy, easy blush. Just a little bit of pink. I'm not worried so much about it being like babushka cheeks. I really do like um, a little bit of something easy. 
Um, I thought it was in his room that sounded loud because of Milo. So Milo's room is here and the living room is directly below. So either way, he's loud. He was in his bedroom and I asked him to go to the living room and realised my mistake immediately afterwards. Uh, in the first lockdown, our neighbour actually posted a note through our door because my partner was so loud on Fortnite. So glad she did. Oh no. Oh, I can't even imagine. That was one of the, with the moving thing, we would have been moving to a semi-detached house, which we've always lived in semi-detached houses before and have no problem. We've never had a problem with neighbours. We've never had a problem with neighbours having a problem with us, even when we had a baby. No one seemed to be irritated, but you know, you never really know, do you? Um, and so I'm glad that we've stayed here because it's detached and I don't have to worry quite so much about the noise. Obviously we don't hear the neighbour noise, but especially we're, we're not annoying anybody else. Um, just watch the other vlog. Have a look at French, French chic paint for the inside doors. Also for the shed, it's amazing stuff. I will. Um, uh, 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 uh. Very much always thought that about Jessica Braun and you. Yeah, I just, I feel like she, I don't know, she's, she's just like my American spirit animal. There were always people that I liked, like um, Emily Noel. But Emily Noel, I always felt was more prolific. She was more like, she put me to shame in terms of work ethic because she had babies and she was getting up at five o'clock in the morning and filming stuff. Um, she at one point had one channel for videos like this and one channel that were like quick reviews every single day. Just incredible, incredible hard worker. Um, and I still really enjoy her, but I have to be completely honest. I stopped watching her for a moment when she made her uh, palette with Makeup Revolution, because at that point I was still kind of butthurt about that whole situation. I made a video if you're interested um, about how our relationship <laughs> disintegrated quickly from nowhere um so I I was like oh, the worst the most irritating part of that is that I had sent um videos and clips and things of her raving about revolution products when they were still a relatively new brand saying like this American loves these products I thought you'd like to see you know when we had a friendly relationship um and then a few years later when we didn't and she got a palette. I was like, why, why are you ruining Emily for me? But I started watching her again recently and she's just as great as ever. Um, she's just so amazing with the ideas. She never seems to run out of video ideas. Always, constantly original stuff. Um, so I really enjoy her, but I also really super enjoy Jessica because she is, I feel just more um, on my wavelength. Although I, I don't know how old she is. I think she could well be 10 years younger than me. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, I'm an old YouTuber now. I'm nearly 35. I'll be 35 next week. What should I do for my birthday? I have no idea. I haven't got a clue. Although our fire pit arrived today, which was early. I wasn't expecting it to come yet. And um, I now kind of want to get it up and running so that on my birthday, because it's supposed to be dry, that can be like its inaugural go. I've already booked, um, I've got this Thursday off, which is our anniversary, and next Thursday off, which is our, my birthday. Um, for like, I kind of booked stuff off over time for the homeschooling thing, just to make things a little bit easier for myself, so I take the pressure off a little bit. Uh, and obviously, I know it's not been, I don't think it's been announced yet, but I, I was never under the impression the kids were going back to school in February. <laughs> I thought, why would they send the kids back to school before everyone's been vaccinated? It doesn't really make any sense to do another lockdown and um, then say, well, it's still not fixed, but let's just come out of lockdown anyway. I never thought that was gonna happen. You know, it's really tough, but it is what it is. And I would rather we just stay in lockdown for as long as we actually need to than keep doing the weird stop-start thing. I don't know. I know that's divisive. Um, mm, 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 Taylor Wind speed reviews. I think I've watched her foundation reviews. Um, I'm 40 this year and can't quite believe it. I, can, I know it just like, everyone tells you it's like that and it is. 35 is young, Anne-Marie. I don't feel old. I feel like, 
15 on the inside um, but I feel like it's old for YouTube um, although I'm kind of hoping that TikTok is where the young people are going and YouTube is going to be for the oldies um, I work in a school and we've been told by our school manager that it'll be Easter at the Earth. Yeah, there's just... There was no way! Oh, Jessica Brown is 31. I didn't know that. Did not know that she was 31. I feel like I should know that because 30 is a big deal. Usually people talk about it. She probably did and I still had in the back of my mind. You're probably younger than me. Anyway, um, so my makeup is done. That is it for this live. And I'm going to go and... Um, oh, she just turned 32. So not that, not that different. Um, I'm going to go and check if my battery is ready. I have a few videos. In fact, let me just throw these past you. One of the videos I know that someone had recommended it or requested quite a lot. Let's see, 20, 2020, 2021, magic year. You know it, 35 is going to be my year. Right, okay. This is how I plan content, by the way. I love a month to view. Love. So let me see what I've planned for January. I haven't even looked at this since, well, for weeks. Okay, so I had actually planned out content <laughs> that did not work out. Um, oh, I forgot I was going to do that. Would you guys be interested in a HelloFresh unsponsored review? Because I was thinking of talking about like whether or not I think it's worth it, um, the pros and cons. And then I might do one for like a gusto box or something because I feel like most people just talk about um, HelloFresh when they've been sponsored to do so. But I've actually used HelloFresh since September and um, the majority of the time, although I get some credits now and then when people use my code, the majority of the time I am paying for my boxes and I've been really happy with it. But I do have some pros and cons to share and I feel like I can say who it would be good for, who it wouldn't be good for. So would you be interested in that? Let me know. Um, oh, wow. Okay. So I, I I had plans. I had plans. I had mega plans. Um, I'm going to do some home content, some like before and after stuff. Okay. I'd completely forgotten about most of this. So one of the things that I was going to talk about was um, TV shows to watch, top 10, especially now we're back in lockdown and I was also going to talk about um have I made a list of these I think I probably have but I was going to do like a confessions or a secrets of a positive person because people are always asking me how I stay positive how I manage to be like happy all the time if you've watched my vlogs that's not necessarily the truth but I thought it would be interesting to kind of like deep dive that because there's a lot under the surface of positive people that you might not know about if you feel like a negative person. Um, so I think that and the Netflix one I might film today and maybe even the HelloFresh. Maybe even the HelloFresh. But Nikki, you are gonna love, I mean, I say you're gonna love the top 10 TV shows, kind of like a Kai Flicks, but also um, maybe not because I we do discuss and talk about what TV shows to watch. So you might already know all of the ones that I'm gonna talk about. I don't know, but I did wanna talk about specifically only the ones that I know that you can stream easily because there are some shows that I watch by a less than legitimate means. And I don't wanna recommend things that you can't easily watch. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm in, I'm in the zone now, I'm in the zone. Thanks for uh, being here with me so I could get into the zone. I like to, do a live before I film things because it kind of like energizes me. Energizes me. Fate, the Wink Saga. I'm loving it. Oh, I remember seeing an advert for that. That's like supernaturally like vampire type thing, right? I'm rewatching the Vampire Diaries again. Nefarious means. Um, and I'm watching them. I've just got to season four. Such a good, that's like the sweet spot for the Vampire Diaries. I really, mm. I do love it. It's like a comfort. Like season three and four of The Vampire Diaries. I mean, I do really like when they go to the 90s. That's great. No spoilers. But I do really like that. I actually just ordered. I started watching The Americans, um, which is a 
thing about um, KGB agents in the 80s in America, pretending to be Americans. And um, something that Kerry Russell wears in the first episode of that just twigged in my mind, oh my God, the thing I wanted, because Bonnie wears it in the 90s um, in the Vampire Diaries is, it's this like leotard that she wears. It's black leotard, it's got three quarter length sleeves. I've never been able to find quite what I'm looking for. I can't wear a bodysuit because my legs are too close together. I don't understand how people wear bodysuits. I don't understand it at all. The, the press studs are like this wide. There isn't that much space between my thighs. I, even when I was a kid, I couldn't wear a bodysuit. It was too uncomfortable. Um, and it shouldn't be that, it's not like that it pulls because I've got a very short torso, but it's just, it's just uncomfortable. So someone recommended to me that I needed an actual dance leotard because they don't have the press studs. Perfect. So I've been looking for, like I can find in a bodysuit what I want, the scoop and the scoop and the three quarter length sleeves, but I can't quite find that in a dance leotard. So I found like a, a not quite so low scoop and much lower in the back. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that because you know you get like rolls in your back. We'll see. Um, and it's long sleeved. So mm, I, literally as I'm filming this, I just got a thing come up saying, I had, um, it's been posted. So fingers crossed we'll have that by the end of the week. Um, and I'll show you whether or not the back fat situation is an issue, we'll see. Uh, I don't even know how we got onto that, but I'm gonna, my 80s and 90s dreams will be realized once I have that in my possession. Right, I'm gonna go film some of this stuff. Again, thank you for joining me, keeping me company and energizing me to film these videos. Um, I'm sorry I've been MIA, I'm sorry I've been MII, I've been MIA. I've also just been kind of, you know, the last four years, I've been under a cloud. I I feel considerably lighter and just generally a little more chipper. So hopefully you will see that come through in my videos. I'm just, again, when we talk about the positive person thing, you'll, you'll get it. Um, but I am generally a happy and positive person. And currently that state of mind is coming easier to me so yeah okay um like i said i did just upload a vlog so if you are still on your lunch break and you want to watch lunch break lunch break and you want to watch a vlog that is available it's yesterday in the house just like wandering around showing you stuff um and chit chatting about various things i'm filming another one today for tomorrow because it's locked down and i said i would and we'll probably have one of the many videos that i plan on filming today up on this channel tomorrow so content central from now i promise i'm going to make up for my um missing content thus far in january um but i'm really going to go now so yeah see you later bye